Um, done with editing on my laptop. Preview, choppy as far. Rendering time, give me can. A bunch of other bullshit that I had to deal with until now. Let's build a PC. So real quick, Ryzen 2700X, Corsair Vengeance DDR4, 32 gigs. That's 3000 megahertz, CL15, um, NVMe M.2, um, half a terabyte, conduct a knot, one terabyte um, SSD, thermal take 850 watt um, PSU, GTX 1080 Ti for the Win 3, MSI B450M motor, some kind of a Wi-Fi card that's Asus, and of course the case NZXT H400i to put everything in. So we take the brick, we line it up with these insulating pads so that it doesn't come into contact and short out with the whole system.
that's a no-no. Wow, I even missed the peel. Okay, now, should I, I mean, should I power it on? Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one. Nope. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> I didn't connect the front panel connection. Three, two, one. Fingers crossed. <sighs> oh. God damn. Three, two, one. This is <laughs> not the first time I power it up and the issue was the front panel connector wasn't connected all the way so I had to take it downstairs and troubleshoot it and I tried to power it on with a screwdriver by touching the power on contacts and it worked so and actually this is probably the fourth day of me using it and uh, I get awesome results no lag whatsoever haven't tried editing yet but it shouldn't be a problem I did try however Far Cry 5, Just Cause 4, Stranded Deep, Hitman 2, Arma 3, Ghost Recon, what else? It doesn't matter because every single one of those games ran perfectly on ultra settings um, no lag whatsoever I didn't run any benchmarks I did overclock the RAM to 3200 MHz <laughs> And it's stable. Sims 4, GTA 5, Tomb Raider. So say welcome back Oscar, because the pain of editing videos is gone. I'm afraid the days of games came. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Hey, by any chance do you know how to conquer that?